choosing the right engine for your airplane can be difficult, especially for experimental and kit built airplanes where there are a multitude of engine options available. So we're going to look at important specs to consider when choosing an engine and rank the 12 engines on this list from worst to best. Yeah, I don't think this video will make me many friends. What's up everyone, I'm a private pilot and aviation enthusiast and this is Let's Go Aviate. So some important specs to consider when choosing an engine are horsepower, weight and price. While some might argue that cost should not be a factor, my experience is that cost is usually a significant factor for most pilots. We'll also consider that these engines can usually be bought used for quite a bit cheaper than brand new. We'll be focusing on the more popular engines available for two-seat airplanes with a maximum takeoff weight of 600 kilograms or 1320 pounds, also known as light sport aircraft. Since we're focusing mainly on performance versus procurement cost, we won't be considering engine reliability, which is somewhat subjective anyways. We also won't be considering maintenance cost, which should be fairly similar for all these engines. Fuel consumption for these engines all fall between 14 and 24 liters an hour or 3.5 to 6 gallons an hour, so we won't be scrutinizing fuel burn too much. Your fuel burn will largely depend on your throttle use anyway, so it wouldn't really matter all that much unless the plane is in a flight school or you fly hundreds of cross-country miles per day. So, starting at the bottom, what does the Continental O200 and the Rotax 915IS have in common? The answer is they are ridiculously expensive. Don't get me wrong, they are both great engines and some great aircraft are powered by them, but those aircraft are not light sport aircraft. Therefore, when it comes to Alice A's, they're almost 40,000 US dollars for the O200 and 43,000 dollars for the 915 is way too much to spend on an Alice A engine. The next worst Alice A engine on this list is one that has been around for a very long time. It's been a great engine, but in this modern day, the Aero V2180 converted VW engine just doesn't cut it on performance. Delivering only 80 horsepower from a dry weight of 168 pounds, it has the worst power to weight ratio of all engines on this list. The next worst engine is one making huge power at very low cost. Sounds great, but weighing in at an astonishing 220 pounds, the Viking 130 converted Honda engine is the heaviest engine on this list and just too heavy for most light sport aircraft. While it is a great option for many 1440 or 1500 pounds gross weight light airplanes, on a 1320 pounds LSA, you'll either end up with inadequate useful load or center of gravity issues, or both. It's too heavy with you in there. The next worst engine for LSA's is actually a great engine with high horsepower as well as turbocharged. And although it's a tad on the heavy side, it is light enough for most LSA's. It's the Rotax 914 and it costs $38,000. It has got a great power to weight ratio, but that price for me is a bit steep. And the sixth worst engine for LSAs are also all in all not a bad engine. It's one of the most affordable engines on this list and delivers high horsepower. But unfortunately, it's on the heavy side, even heavier than the 914. At 184 pounds, the Jabiru 3300 is just too heavy for many lighter LSAs. Now we get to the six best engines for light sport aircraft and in number six we have the Rotax 912UL. So you might wonder why this engine isn't higher on this list, but 19,000 US dollars isn't exactly cheap and 80 horsepower isn't exactly a lot and is usually considered the bare minimum required for light sport aircraft. It does weigh in at only 147 pounds, which is a huge positive, but it stays at number six. Coming in at number five, we have the UL Power UL350IS. 
it delivers an impressive 130 horsepower from a somewhat heavy 173 pounds which nonetheless gives it the best power to weight ratio on this entire list and yes it's got a better power to weight ratio than the Rotax 915 at sea level no that's not possible the Jedi would be aware of it but I feel the $26,000 price tag is too much for this engine to be in the top four LSA engines. It is to be noted that for 1440 and 1500 pounds light aircraft, the UL350 is probably one of the best options available. At number four, we have another UL power engine, the smaller sibling of the 350IS, which is the 260IS. It delivers a very nice 107 horsepower and weighing a reasonable 160 pounds. Unfortunately, it cost $24,000, which makes it just barely miss out in being in the top three light sport aircraft engines. Speaking of which, number three is the Jaguar 2200. The most affordable engine on this list at only $7,000 as well as the lightest at only £137. It is known as the lightest four-cylinder, four-stroke aircraft engine in this power range. That power unfortunately is only 80 horsepower. I sometimes see or hear people stating they deliver 85 horsepower which honestly would take this engine up to number two on this list. But the number stated by the manufacturer is 80 horsepower. Speaking of number two, and I'm sure it will be somewhat unexpected, it's the Viking 90 converted Mitsubishi engine. At only 11,000 US dollars, you get an adequate 90 horsepower at a very reasonable weight of 159 pounds. While the price is very attractive, the power and weight both are below average on this list, which means it cannot be number one. That leaves only the best light sport aircraft engine, which I'm sure many of you expected. And it's the Rotax 912 ULS. It delivers a welcome 100 horsepower from a very low 149 pounds. It is a little bit expensive at $23,000, but it closely matches most of the higher horsepower engines on this list on power to weight ratio and is cheaper than all of them except the Jabiru 3300 and the very heavy Viking 130. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think is the best light sport aircraft engine. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.